Hello everybody, we're going to do some height testing uh, in the next few days but I'm just going to show you what we are going to do the test with. We've got some helium balloons, well foil balloons that we're going to fill with helium and uh, we're going to set them at certain distances, certain heights. I've got uh, a mixture of balloons and we're going to do this by using the uh, the trusty range finder. It's very accurate, so you're going to have to take my word for it. It's uh, it's what we use in our uh, normal patterning tests, and it's it's never let us down so far. Yeah, we're going to tie the balloons to a fishing spole. That's twelve pound uh, breaking strain. Let the uh, the spool run out to um, to what this um, instrument says 30, 40 or 50 yards and that's what we're going to stop it at. It will very, be very interesting and probably solve uh, a lot of people's minds that uh, birds can be killed at certain heights and beyond. And it might uh, cast some doubt on, uh, with other people. So let's, uh, let's have a look, see what it does. The height test that you are about to see was done as fair as the conditions would allow. It was a still calm day, thus allowing for some accuracy with the rangefinder. The first target, stroke balloon, is set at 40 yard. It does not quite represent uh, a pheasant's body, but it does help show how good even a 40 yard bird is. I've also included some clips of game shooting as a comparison to the balloon test. These comparisons once again are inconclusive as to their accuracy. Here we jump straight into a 60 yard bird using the much smaller party type balloon that is much more representative of a pheasant's body. As you can see or hear there is no delay of the shot to the target. The last clip is 70 yard away and we use a different colour just to prove the test is genuine. You can tell visually and by listening very carefully that there is a slight delay in the shot reaching the target. Please remember these tests in layman's terms do not prove that the pellets striking the balloons would have killed a pheasant. The energy and striking proof will be conducted at a later stage. I hope you enjoy our testing series. Stay tuned for there's much more to come.